Just on a circuit he loathes. And let's take a ride round that track with the top Englishman, Mark Eastwood, at the helm of his wise co Honda. And here we are dropping down the short, sharp drop into the second turn over the first of the many tabletop jumps that pepper this fast and chalky circuit, which has an average speed of over 50 kilometers per hour. Dropping in wide into the rutted right hander, heading off over the first of the long jumps, uphill up the veranda, dropping sharp left at the top and down into one of the very few remotely tight turns here, breaking hard bounce off the bank on the right-hand side and then line up the first of the uphills across the top Eastwood setting ninth fastest practice time only 1.1 seconds behind Stefan Everts launches himself down the first of these terrifying hills which you can, one can actually barely walk up or down in fact, one of the most petrifying experiences of my life was having a lift up on the back of uh, British champion, champion Rob Herring's bike. Scared me stupid, it did. And here we go off one of the first, lining himself up for one of these horrendous drop-offs, sailing through the air, you could see his shadow at the bottom, taking the wide line into the banked right-hander at the bottom. All this stuff is third and fourth gear work, very fast, launching himself, skimming the top of the hill, over the next tabletop, this used to be the starting area, charging down a really terrifying fifth gear left-hand swoop over the double jump, breaking hard into a 180-degree left-hander. Very loose, stony, a lot of chalk and rock showing through, down this sudden drop into the valley, back up, sharp up the other side, missing out the inside rut. Eastwood turns back down the valley, which will be packed with those 30,000 extremely noisy fans when he's uh, going across these huge tabletops tomorrow, screaming towards the double, over the double he goes, down into what used to be the right, the, the, the rutted, nasty right-hander, then sharp left into the old finish, but now they carry on down through the bomb hole, exiting the bomb hole, a small jump, and then a huge airtime into the finish line, and that...